welcome to Walt Disney World Inside Out. The weekly show that keeps you up to date and takes you behind the scenes at Walt Disney World. your hosts, Brian Leary, George Foreman, and J.D. Roth. to you this week from the Magic Kingdom at Walt Disney World in Florida. Please welcome J.D. Roth and Brian Leary. Hi, everybody. I'm J.D. Roth. I'm Brian Leary. Welcome to Florida and another edition of Inside Out. Your chance to check out the scene behind the scenes at Disney World. Yep, she's right. And this week, we're going to show you how they make movie magic at Disney MGM Studios. And in George's corner, our co-host and all-around champ, George Foreman, will be filling you in on the fun facts from the Foreman Fun Fact File. Sharpen your pencils, because we're going to learn how to draw Mickey Mouse. Plus, we're going to give you something only a very few special people ever get the experience of working here at Disney World. You know, when you think about it, a job here isn't like any other job. In fact, they call the people who work here cast members. Really? Yeah. Well, we thought it'd be fun to select a family from our audience mm -hmm. and make them cast members for a day. Absolutely. We also thought it'd be fun to make sort of a contest and pick a winner, but you know what? Honestly, that takes just far too much work for us. Entry blanks have to be printed. <laughs> we have to read them over. And... And, and you know, who has that kind of time, exactly. frankly? So we decided just to think up a family name and hope we get lucky that it's someone in the audience. Okay. Go for it. Throw a name out. Okay, so is there a, oh, let's see, a uh, Harris family in the audience? Yeah. Oh, yeah, right. I, uh, uh, I'm checking IDs. Come on, it's not like we're paying you or anything. Come on, everyone out there. I know there's a Harris family in this audience. Anyone? Harris. Yes. <laughs> All right, give it up for them. Here comes the Harris family. <laughs> you really are a Harris family? Yes. And what's your name? Sean. How you doing, Sean? Good? What's your name? Linda. Linda, where are you guys from? We're from Newark, New Jersey. All right, I know Newark very well. What's your name? Kevin. Kevin, what do you do for a living? I'm a business process reengineering specialist. And uh, I'm going to ask you what that is. Okay. It sounds very complicated. You must be an extremely smart guy. I'm not sure some days. Okay, <laughs> I'm not sure either. Um, you guys are going to get a chance to work here at Disney World. Is that okay? Oh, that's great. Okay, okay but before you can become cast members, you have to go on a job interview, right? That way we can see what job you guys are best suited for. And um, look who we have to take you to the job interview. It is Goofy! Yeah. Give it up for Goofy. Goofy high five, huh? Goofy. Nice job. Way to go. All right, guys, head off with Goofy. <laughs> Give it up for them. Wish them luck. How about that? Goofy's taking them for a while. We're going to catch up with the Harris family a little bit later. But first, I'm going over to Disney MGM Studios to see how they do all those cool special effects. Here comes one now. The Disney MGM Studios is a real working movie studio right in the middle of Walt Disney World. Here you can take in a show, watch them make a film, or learn the secrets of making movie magic. I don't know about you, but if a movie has special effects, I am the first one in line. I mean, a big helicopter crash, a 50-foot toddler, getting Arnold Schwarzenegger to talk with an accent. How do they do that stuff? Well, that's why we're here at Inside the Magic to find out. Come on. This is Auntie from Honey, I Shrunk the Kids. Now, when they made Honey, I Shrunk the Kids, they couldn't find any kids that were small enough to play the part. So they had to build things that were really big, and it made the kids look really small. Whoa, Auntie, how you doing? Oh, man. This is Katie. She's going to show us around. In fact, I want to see what this train is like over here. Come okay. on. What's this train? Actually, this train was used in Dick Tracy. Really? I mean, look at all the detail and everything. 
How long does it take to make something like that? Well, actually, it took them about 6,000 hours of labor. 6,000 hours? Yes. And how long in the film do they use this train for? They use it for about 11 seconds. Oh, 6,000 hours for 11 seconds. Now, when they make something like this, how does it work in, you know, going over to film? Well, what they do is they film it on, in front of a detailed miniature set, and then they take whatever they want and put it onto a sheet of glass and paint in the background around it. And then when it looks like, because I remember Dick Tracy, that head-on collision. Right. How do they do that? What they do is they take a mirror and they'll place it above oh. the track. And so the image of the oncoming locomotive is reflected right into the mirror, into the camera lens. So it looks like a head-on collision. And then they collision. use one of those paintings. The matte paintings, yes. Put that in there and they match it up. They paint it right in around it. That's cool. And what's so great about coming to Inside Magic is that not only do you get to learn about special effects, you get to be one. Hey, J.D., are you ready up there? Oh, yeah, you know, just one question. Are they serving a meal on this flight? Because I'm kind of hungry. <laughs> you might remember that scene from Honey, I Shrunk the Kids, where they climbed on board a bumblebee and flew right through the backyard. Well, the secret is called blue screen, where you film someone or something in front of a blue background and later replace the blue with whatever location or special effect you want. <laughs> Whoa, Trav, nice job. Give me five. Way to go, buddy. I think you got a real future as an actor. If you'll excuse me now, I've got to catch a wasp to Dallas. This week at the Magic Kingdom, Contact 96. Science fiction stars Leonard Nimoy and James Doohan drop in on the new Tomorrowland on January 21st for a special one-day event highlighted by an exhibition of science fiction memorabilia. Now it's time to catch up with the Harris family as they go on their Disney World job interview. You know, I remember my first time here. I was a little scared, but their bark is worse than their bite. It's not bad. Job interviews are easy. You've got to quit talking so much, Sean. Okay, so when you guys go in there, I want you to look them right in the eye. But be relaxed. Now sit up straight. Tell them what you want. But most of all, don't look like you need the job. They hate that. If we ever decide to go with a fourth little pig, we'll let you know. The Harris family, that's us. Now relax, you look great. You're gonna do just fine. Mr. Harris, is that gum? <sighs> Unbelievable. Welcome to casting, my name is Leanne. I understand you're interested in employment opportunities here at Walt Disney World. Absolutely ready to work, rare and to go. We currently employ over 37,000 cast members and this year, we plan to cast over 17,000 roles. To do this, we will screen over 136,000 applicants. Every job we hire for is considered a role in our show, whether it's attractions, foods, or entertainment. Now, let me show you some of the positions available, and we'll see if we can find an opportunity for you. Hi there, my name is Mike, and I'm the fireman on this train here in the Magic Kingdom. Folks, I'm David, I'm here at Big Thunder Mountain, and I make sure no one gets on if they don't meet this height requirement here. Hi, my name's Brody. I sell popcorn and sodas in Liberty Square. Hello, my name is Dan. I work here at the Haunted Mansion. and I'm a Walt Disney World Monorail pilot. There's so many great jobs here at Walt Disney World, but you only get to pick one. 
I personally have always dreamed of dishing out the lemon slushies. Okay, which one do you want? Very cool. Good choice. Can you yodel? This will be good. We'll catch up with the Harris family a little later on. But right now, let's go to Adventureland at the Magic Kingdom, where J.D. is about to take on the most dangerous job of them all. The Jungle Cruise is the most dangerous job in all of the Magic Kingdom. No, no, not because of the animals. They're pretend. It's because of this, the script. The guides on these boats have to go out there and do these jokes over and over, which just might be the largest collection of puns, gags, quips, and let's face it, real groaners. As co-host of the Disney Channel's Inside Out, it is my job to put my life and my career on the line. Hey, welcome aboard, everybody. I'm JD. I'm going to be your skipper, your alligator wrestler, and your resident redhead. Okay, before we begin, everyone turn around, wave goodbye to everyone on the dock, because this may be the last time you see them or anyone again. On the right over here is a giant python. They can grow to be 24 feet long. That's right, they're friendly creatures, except when they grow a crush on you. Okay, maybe not. Yeah, I hired these guys to break camp for me. I guess they broke everything. Oh, so you think you can do better, huh? All right, here you go, good luck. Bottoms up, guys. Oh. Those guys didn't believe it, but they'll get the point in the end. Oh. How'd you like to be low man on that totem pole? Oh. <laughs> oh, check this out. Look what we found. The secret bathing pool of the Indian elephant. Oh, guys, don't worry. It's okay. You can stare. They have their trunks on. Oh. Originally, Walt Disney wanted to use real animals. What he, what he really wanted, when he went on a safari, he saw this, and he wanted to have real animals. Unfortunately, uh, and fortunately for the guests, actually, someone convinced him not to do that, because the animals, most jungle animals are nocturnal. One, they'd be asleep all day, and most of them would stay to the back of all those scenes. And not to mention, I mean, the animals you have now are easy to wake up for work every day. Absolutely. <laughs> now, Joe, I noticed, you know, while we're on the boat trip, a lot of these jokes are, like, really tough. You know, they don't always get a laugh. The jokes are, are what, what we call groaners. Um, and if you go through a whole cruise and you get a lot of groans, you've pretty much done your thing here at the Jungle <laughs> Cruise. 30 trips a day, you got to say the same jokes? Pretty much, yeah. How do you keep it fresh? That's part of the, the truly, and I mean this, that's part of the Disney magic. Do you ever change your uh, spiel? Every single day. <laughs> A uh, word of warning, everybody. If on your way out your shoes are filling up with water, you probably got out on the wrong side. Yeah, we made it back alive, though, right? See, some people say there are too many puns on this ride. Well, I think that's a crock. Uh-oh. I think this is getting contagious. The magic of Disney animation at the Disney MGM Studios isn't just a show. It's a real animation studio where they're hard at work on Disney's next animated blockbuster. Let's drop in on George Foreman over there, where he's about to take his first art lesson. Look at these hands. Do they look like the hands of an artist? The only thing that I can draw is a crowd, especially around a boxing ring. But here at the Disney Animation Studio, they got a guy who says he can teach me how to draw Mickey. Now this I gotta see. How you doing, Tim? Hey, champ, how's it going? Great. You ready? Ready. Got your pencil, got your paper? We're ready to go. Okay, let's go. Okay. Now, Mickey's based on some very simple artistic procedures, but still you gotta take a lot of practice to get him down right. Mm. He's basically built out of just two or three circles. Start with one for his head. Find the placement of his eyes here. Sometimes it helps to draw a line right down the center of his head so you can determine the the curve. Then off the front of his face, he draws 
This whole nose out here. Make sure you get that dimension in it. Make sure it's, you get that feeling of depth and life. Okay, we're gonna give Mickey a nice big smile because he's a happy kind of guy. Mm -hmm. yeah, not bad, not bad. A little practice. Actually, a lot of practice. Mickey's ears, there's two more circles, not quite as big as his head. Yeah, a little smaller than the, than the circle we drew for the head. The strange thing about Mickey's ears is they're always circles. No matter how he turns his head, we always draw them around. He's got a body shaped like a little pear. A little tummy gives him that cute, youthful personality that he's got so well. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, just think loose, loose lines. Not bad, not bad. Remember, Mickey's only got three fingers and a thumb. Because when you're drawing hundreds and hundreds of these, it's one less finger to draw. <laughs> My kids are gonna love me. Look, I did it. Hey, I not drew bad, Mickey. George. That's one for the refrigerator, isn't it? I'm telling but you. But you know, as a final touch, you gotta give it that old Disney magic. Show off. This isn't so bad. Hmm. Disney World is a place where dreams come true. And this week, we've got national radio star Rick Dees on vacation at the Magic Kingdom to share his dream with us. You know, like many people, it's always been my dream to actually work here at the Magic Kingdom. And what would I do, you ask? Well, I could be the guide on the Jungle Cruise. I could drive that trolley maybe that goes around Main Street. Maybe be the, the engineer on that steam train that goes around the Magic Kingdom. Those are all cool jobs, but I was thinking, hey, Dana, you see, how do I know her name is Dana? Because of this. Is that a cool job, to actually be the guy who stitches the names on the official Mickey Mouse hat? I mean, is that the coolest? How you doing, Dana? Good. Good. I'll see you in a little while. Because, of course, I'm the world's greatest star. <laughs> They're going to let me do it. Come on. This is where the action takes place. This is, this is what I've always wanted to know how to do. So you're the master. I'm your student. Turn on the motor. Right. And as you can see, it operates a pulley, which starts the machine going here. Gotcha. And you go ahead and use a piece of practice paper to show mm -hmm. you just a simple operation. What is this? Oh, those are scissors, right? Oh. It lets you know you're working it. Look at that. I'm ready for some hats. Hey. Hi. Your name? Andrea. Andrea. Tom. Can you do a couple of hats for us? Are we going to do two? Yeah. Me yeah. two, Tom. You, go. you got it. No problem. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You got it. Yeah. And everything. There you go. I, um, uh, <laughs> um, you have kids? Uh, we will now. I've you been. You try yours a little first. Well, I put a little extra. Just... Oh, God. Oh, oh, oh. Hey, I heard you were making hats. Yes, Can you make sir. me one? Sure. What's your name? Nathan. N-A-T-H-A-N. Um, I'll be, hold on a second. You got any scissors? N-A-T-H-A-N, Nathan. You got me. There you go. All right. Uh, good to have well, you. I have to be home for Christmas here. You got it, no problem. <laughs> All right. Okay. And you come back. Thanks a lot. Take it easy. This isn't my name. You look like a Bob. You should... <laughs> You're a Bob. Uh -huh. No, it's been your Bob. <laughs> Nate, come on, you're Bob, aren't you? I know, I'll, I'll, I'll pay for those. All that was actually, uh, no, I will, Tony. Can I, can I keep this one? Okay. Well, it was a little rough at first, but you know, I think I'm finally getting the hang of this monogramming business. And I mean, look, hats today, but who knows, maybe tomorrow, handkerchiefs, towels, bowling shirts. I mean, the possibilities are endless. And I can tell you this, it all started right here, the place where dreams come true, the Magic Kingdom.
If you're wondering what job the Harris family, our cast members for a day, have chosen here at Walt Disney World, we're just about to head into the German Pavilion at Epcot's World Showcase to find out. <laughs> To help us out here, the Harris family. Now, we want you to join us in an old German tradition called Schunken. In München steht ein Hofenreihaus, ein Zweig so far. Dadurch so manches Bestchen. Everybody, here we go. for you, young lady, and of course you, a milk stein. I'm sorry, you're not old enough. <laughs> Deal with it, okay? That's fabulous. You guys are great sports, and for being such good sports, we're also going to give you guys back your old clothes. <laughs> so you don't have to walk around looking like that. You like me now, don't you? Yeah. Okay. Although, Marty, you know what? There's really nothing like a man in later hosen. Everybody sing along! Oh. This week at Walt Disney World, IndyCar Racing roars in on January 27th as they inaugurate the brand new track near the Magic Kingdom. Then, January 26th through February 25th, Chinese New Year kicks off a month-long celebration at Epcot with special entertainment and authentic festivities. Later this season, February 9th, the grand opening of the Disney Institute. It's a unique discovery resort combining adventure and education from some of the top names in the world of sports, entertainment, food, and gardening. Then, February 17th through the 20th, Mardi Gras hits Pleasure Island, featuring the most authentic New Orleans-style Mardi Gras this side of New Orleans, with festive costumes, decoration, and spicy Cajun food. behind the scenes at Walt Disney World in Florida. Yeah, we want to thank our co-host, the big guy, George Foreman. Thanks. Back at you, co-host. See you next week. And our cast members for the day, the Harris family, and all the cast members at Walt Disney World. If they weren't here, this place wouldn't be here, and we wouldn't be here, and then uh, you wouldn't be there. Yeah, but they are, and it is, and you are, so we'll see you next week.